you just can't trust anything online today i mean just look at the ceo this is a perfect example there are so many dark sides of generative ai and you have to be very very careful for any content that you're consuming on the internet today just pause here for a moment and try to realize what did you just see the interesting part is that i wasn't even speaking all of those dialogues do you find this amazing or terrifying well i feel a mix of both and it really scares me what the future holds for us when it comes to generative ai but before i begin i just want to give you a disclaimer that all of these thoughts and that i'm going to share are very personal and it is perfectly fine if you don't agree with me rather i would want to know your perspective and maybe understand things a little better maybe i'm being too paranoid or i'm not understanding things correctly and maybe while going through all of these thoughts we can also discover some sustainable methods by which we can keep generative ai useful for us hello friends welcome back to my channel first of all let me give you some background if you are on the internet today you know about all of these usual suspects right you have chat gpt gemini claude all of these are generative ai models and we use them almost every day i personally use it for life coaching for coding sessions for tutorials to help me create these videos and it is very natural that you are using it too you are using it for a lot of household tasks and everywhere the uses are endless while all of this is really wonderful it has made our life so easy if you want to ask anything instead of searching you just ask the question on chat gpt and you get your answer but why do i feel that this is going to cause some problems to understand it better let me give you a brief background about how these llms are actually made llm stands for large language models and all of these models that you are using they are actually trained on some sample data sets so over here what i have done is i have divided the entire internet in a timeline so you have a beginning when the internet actually began so this is the very initial phase when people started discovering about the world wide web and they started posting something then came the social media boom this is what you must be familiar about you have so many websites tiktok twitter all of the public forums instagram facebook youtube quora reddit this is the place where everyone had been just publishing content every day every second you are liking commenting reacting interacting so many things what happens is these models are trained upon all of the data that is present in all of these networks and then you get to the present this is where we have all of these llm models available that is why you are able to ask them questions and that is how they know all the answers as well so whether it be anything cars landscapes travel destination recipes how do all of these llm models know all of the answers that is because you or us we have been posting all of this information on these public forums all these big websites they are running website crawlers to gather all of the data and that is how all of these llm models know that okay this is what the user is asking and that is how i want to respond you might have also cross questioned these llm models right that okay what if i do this what if i do this then you already have all of these data available in these social platforms because people are constantly commenting and that is the data added by real users by real humans so this is where we are currently this is the present but what about the future and why am i concerned about it currently we are in the era of generative ai and why do i call it generative ai because you are using all of these generative models to create new things you might have gone through so many tutorials so many examples so many places where you say that okay use ai to write articles write blogs create images create videos and you can also create code snippets as well so you just give it a prompt and you get the answer all of this sounds really really amazing correct but this is actually the starting point of all of the problem that is going to happen in the future because if you think about it you are now using generative ai okay very good that you created all of these new articles blogs and all of these images but what is the final destination for all of this generated content where does all of this information eventually go if you're writing an article where will you publish it if you're creating a new image using generative ai where will you publish it yes you are correct it goes back to all of this social platform so any images that you created 
any text that you write, any blog articles that you're writing, they are all going back to the entire internet for people to consume. Are you trying to catch my drift now? And maybe you're trying to understand, okay, there could be some problem over here. Let me try to elaborate it a little bit further. This is where we were currently, right? We were using generative AI to make all of these new information. And you made it absolutely nice. You are very happy with the results. All of this information is very good. You publish it very happily. And I am very happy with all of the results. This is a current state. Now here is something which you might have noticed if you have been using LLM models a bit more frequently. When you use these models, yes, you get all of this information ready. But you might have also noticed that sometimes these models are not sure about the information that they're producing and they will just give out some random information. To be more precise, if the topic is a very, very popular topic, then the degree of confidence in the answer is very high. But if you ask these LLM models a very convoluted question, you might have seen that the response is very haywire. It is not correct and sometimes it may even be outright wrong. So for now, let us assume that whenever you ask your generative AI for any query, then let us say you are getting 90% of the answer as correct, whereas the 10% of the information from it is false or either incorrect. In the LLM world, we call these answers as hallucinations. So what does that mean? Is your LLM model not good enough? Or is it not a good replacement for any of your work? Well, that is not true either. Because as humans, we think that, okay, I am still getting 90% of the information as correct. So what we do is we try to filter that information and okay, maybe process it and okay, we will get what we need. We can leave out the 10% of the information that we do not need. But what happens in a scenario when you do not know about this 10% of the wrong information? Let us say you are exploring any new topic. Then you are asking these LLM models questions. You are cross-questioning them. How do you even know that the information provided to you is correct? Or how do you even know that, okay, this part of the information is correct and this part of the information is wrong? And this is where all of the problems start to originate. Let us take a step back once again and try to understand that how do the LLMs even know that, okay, this answer is correct and this answer is wrong? Do you remember that an LLM is trained on all of these public platforms? right? You ask a question on this public platform and there are humans all over the world who are answering it. Then again, it's the same problem. Some people may give a correct answer, whereas the other people may not give a correct answer or the answer may not be valid. So how does the LLM decide that, okay, I need to use this answer as the correct one. That is where all of your likes, comments, views, sentiments, interactions, all of these things come in handy. If you are on Reddit, you have an option to upvote. If you are on TikTok, if you are on Instagram, you can like a certain post, you can like a certain comment. More the number of likes, more is the degree of confidence for an LLM. So out of all of these comments, out of all of these answers, the LLM model will look for all of these parameters. So if I ask a question on Reddit and there is a certain answer that gets a lot of votes, that gets a lot of likes, then the LLM thinks that, okay, this might be the correct answer and that is what you eventually get. So that is how an LLM model gives you a particular answer. But our problem still remains. Sometimes we get a mixture of answers. Let us say a question on Reddit or any other social networking platform, it did not get a lot of likes or a lot of comments. That is the condition when your answer is unsure. You get some information that is correct and some information is completely false. So what do you do about it? Do you remember how we were using generative AI to generate all of these new articles, blogs, right? And let us say you are following some advice and using AI to write down a new blog. Now, whatever blog you write, if you pick up a topic that you do not know about, you use LLM models to create the post and then you post back the generated content on all of these platforms again you are now deliberately putting this 90% correct information and the 10% false information back on the internet. What will happen with this? If you think about it, when new LLM models will come, when there will be new versions of these LLM models, what will they train on? They are going to train on all of this data. 
So all of this generated content, what is it doing? It is incorporating all of this false information as well. So this new version might be good at certain new tasks, but it is also getting bad at all of the false information that you're ingesting it with. You got a new version of your LLM model and then you are again using it to generate more and more AI content. Remember our little guy over here? He was generating 90% correct information and 10% of the information was false and incorrect. But now this false and incorrect information is a part of the new version. So the new answers that are going to get generated, they will be 88% correct and 12% false content. So you see the false or the incorrect information that got added by you, it is now getting added to your new answers. And what happens in the future? Once again, you are going to post all of this information back to the internet and then the new versions are going to get trained on this. And this time the degree of confidence on the answer that you get is going to get even lower. And you might be thinking that, okay, this is a very slow process, but that is where you are very, very wrong. As individuals and as humans, we are very slow to put out all of this information on the internet. But if you think about the bot traffic, there are a lot of bots created by people. These bots are generating blogs, news articles, and they are using AI to generate all of this content. Now, this new content is not monitored at all. Sure, there are big companies which are monitoring this content and they are making sure that whatever content they publish is true. But you cannot stop all of the fraud use of it. How far you will go to monitor it? People are using these chatbots and they are generating content at a very high rate. And this includes everything. This includes deep fakes also. You are gonna find videos and photos of people that never existed. And it is a very high chance that you're already seeing this. And that is my entire concern, which is terrifying me. And I feel very scared what is going to happen with generative AI in the future. Just try to think about it. If it becomes really easy to create an Instagram reel with the help of a prompt, do you really think what content will dominate? Will you have a AI generated content that is super simple, just take five minutes? Or will you have an actual content created by a human being that takes hours and hours of publishing? All of this content that is generated by AI, it is going to flood the internet and you will not be even able to distinguish that, okay, this is an AI generated content and this is a human generated content. Because all of these LLM models, they are getting better day by day. And humans are generally not very good at identifying fakes. And in fact, according to the statistics, you are most likely to trust a deep fake video rather than recognizing it. So try to think about all of the horrors that can happen. Any video that you see on the internet, it might just not be real. People might just get better at writing a better prompt and it might give you a better video. Would you like to imagine a world where internet is flooded with all of this deep fake content and it is flooded with all of these AI articles? That is the part where I'm very, very scared. What do you think about it? How do you think you can tackle all of this and how can you circumvent all of this happening? And to state the very obvious fact, all of this happens at a cost. All of these LLM models are running on some actual servers and they require electricity and that involves cost. If you look at the cost involved for all of these LLM models, some of this cost is going towards fraud. People are using it in a wrong manner. And as more and more tools develop, more and more power gets into the hand of a common man as well. Now, until you make a pledge that you are not going to use it in the wrong way, then there is a very high chance that people are going to misuse it and people are going to exploit it. And trust me, no industry is safe, whether it be technology, whether it be travel, whether it be retail. And I'm not making any of these numbers up. I'm going to post the sources to all of these numbers in the video description below and you can check it out. These are all the thoughts that come into my mind every day when I use generative AI. Sure, it helps me a lot, but as I use it more and more, I understand it that, okay, I cannot rely upon it. I have started to see a lot of false information. The LLM models have started to hallucinate and they will start telling me any random stuff. Now, if I don't do my due diligence, I could land in a whole lot of shithole. And that is not where you want to be. So if you want to take away something from this video, just try to make sure that whenever you're using these LLM models, just double check the information. 
and always make sure that if you're reposting all of this information, then remove out all of the false information because every small bit helps. Otherwise, my biggest fear is that in the coming future, we will be in a place where every content on the internet will be AI generated and the only real person on the internet will be just you. And that is actually the dead internet theory. So what do you feel about all of these thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Just tell me everything in the comment section below. And I really want to discuss all of this with you. And if you want to keep viewing genuine content like this, please do consider subscribing to my channel because these kind of things really motivate me and I can find out more of this information and share it with you guys. I would also like to give a huge shout out to all of the members who support my channel. You guys are the real rock stars and you guys really keep me going. And I just want to reiterate, you can now schedule a one-to-one -one session with me and we can talk about almost anything. Stay tuned for my upcoming video. Until then, see ya.